can be detected in patients with germline mutations while are not observed alone in wild type patients. Um, and we will now open up uh, Dr. Malkavati's presentation to questions fielded by Dr. Kazola. Let's uh, <clears throat> start uh, with a question uh, by Amir Zaydan again. Uh, so the question is, uh, what do you know about uh, the course of uh, DDX41 patients with MDS who end up being transplanted from siblings with a germline mutation in uh, DDX41? Thank you. Uh, actually, uh, we uh, don't have uh, uh, any uh, robust evidence uh, to address this point, which actually is uh, uh, extremely important uh, from a clinical point of view. And uh, cert certainly in the next uh, future, uh, uh, an, an informal uh, screening uh, of potential hematopoietic stem cell donor uh, will, uh, uh, will be required. Actually, this is uh, bringing uh, to uh, to the other extremely relevant point uh, on uh, how to identify patients with the myeloid neoplasms uh, uh, who might have a high likelihood of having an underlying germline mutations that may then inform family uh, donor screening. And uh, actually, I think that DDX41 may represent uh, a very specific, special uh, issue in the setting uh, as basically the germline mutation is not associated with the relevant uh, hematological or hematological phenotype uh, preceding uh, or uh, paralleling uh, the diagnosis of myeloid neoplasms. So uh, probably the most uh, uh, robust approach will be to integrate the DX41 mutation screening uh, in a standard uh, uh, gene panel uh, for uh, uh, mutation analysis in MDS. And then uh, this may uh, further uh, inform uh, uh, the screening uh, for, uh, for uh, uh, um, uh, sibling uh, hematopoietic stem cell donor as a second step. Yeah, uh, next question is indeed uh, uh, recommendations for screening family donors by James Hessel. Well, I think uh, that, uh, uh, again, uh, we need uh, to accumulate evidence uh, to drive uh, and uh, to inform uh, uh, our approach in the clinical practice. As present, uh, uh, our approach is mostly based on uh, a consensus. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, uh, we need uh, to define a robust criteria to, uh, to test patients, uh, uh, which uh, uh, certainly might be uh, uh, informed and inspired by uh, clinical uh, uh, inputs, uh, including uh, uh, extrematological phenotype for uh, those germline predisposition uh, condition characterized by extrematological uh, phenotypes. But uh, as mentioned, uh, some uh, uh, conditions uh, uh, are not associated with relevant extrematological phenotype. And uh, in uh, Adult patients, uh, at least, uh, uh, we certainly uh, are facing uh, an uh, underlying uh, selection of uh, uh, both a disorder and uh, uh, gene variants within uh, each disorder with, uh, characterized by uh, uh, incomplete penetrance and mild clinical expressivity. Uh, so for some of these conditions, probably a systematic uh, screening uh, will be in the future the most uh, robust approach, while the, for those uh, which are characterized by uh, hematolo extrahematological phenotype, uh, uh, clinically in informed uh, screening might be uh, uh, still uh, reasonable. And uh, this will be then the base to inform uh, family donors, uh, either for a, a potential uh, 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 stem cell uh, transplantation and for an appropriate uh, uh, genetic uh, counseling uh, for the uh, 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 relative uh, caring uh, germline predisposition. Another very similar question is, until which age should a germline screening be recommended in the workup of MDS eligible for uh, transplantation, especially considering the DX41? 
Uh, this uh, is uh, again a very relevant uh, question. Uh, actually, whereas uh, it, uh, it, it seems that uh, in, in principle, uh, uh, MDS patients with a germline predisposition tend to be younger than uh, uh, those without uh, the underlying uh, uh, germline predisposition, DDX41, but uh, 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 not only this condition uh, uh, may definitely have uh, an onset uh, uh, late in, uh, in, uh, in age. So I don't think that uh, age by itself uh, may be sufficient to, to drive uh, uh, um, a, a germline uh, testing uh, in uh, uh, patients eligible for allogeneic stem cell transplantation. And probably, again, a systematic screening will be the most uh, comprehensive and robust approach. Thank you very much again, Luca. Thank you. Rina? Yes, thank you, Luca. We are next going to hear from Dr. Mufti, uh, and we'll start off with his first polling question. It's very simple. Would you transplant?